I think I could catch your attention for about 15 minutes. I know that's about double what most people's attention span is nowadays, but what if I could tell you I could design a kitchen, get a couple of really realistic renderings, and do a preliminary plan set all in 15 minutes? Let me see if I can try it out. We're at 21 seconds right now. Let's get going. Um, so I know for a fact that this particular kitchen has a window here that I haven't dimensioned out. And so um, I'm just going to move this, slide this over. Look, I'm kind of going at a casual pace even. Slide this over, and I know at about one foot, there is the kitchen window right about there. And she is only a three-foot window. And I'll just kind of kick in. I'm going to put in kind of a large sink base here and kind of land it wherever it, she lands. So actually, you know what? I know that this window is centered on a 33. I'm gonna get to sloppy. I'm even being a little bit slow, not as efficient as I normally would be. So let's just start building this out. I'm gonna get something in the corner here and I don't want a corner cabinet. I'm gonna do probably two inch fillers on either side. So I want a 24 inch dishwasher here and then a 12 inch base here and the rest of that's gonna be filler. Okay. So I'm gonna throw a little base filler in here and I can take this and both of these and reflect them about. It's automatically gonna fill in that section. We know that down the line here is this guy right here. So I also know that I wanna have a refrigerator in here find where my refrigerator tool is and let's just drag over another cabinet we're going to turn this into an oven cabinet stack these next to each other and then i think i want to pull off this wall i'm going to do um just whatever makes sense here maybe a 24 and another 24 sounds good and then i'm going to keep these away from that door just i think we've got plenty of storage in here i'm not too worried about that part of it so and then let's go 26 down the line here, throw a little base filler in on either side that will auto build countertops in this particular software. And then what I want to have happen is somewhere in here, I want to have a peninsula going on here. So between that and this whole other section here, I'm kind of thinking, let's just go with a base 24 and then a nine or 12. And then I think we'll do a range. I'll bring this over and extend it. And this will probably be like a two door cabinet. And then, yeah, we're almost to that corner. That makes sense. An 18, sure, why not? And to stack this over. Let's move these down the line. Just first bring them back and then bring them down. Something like that. Go ahead and rotate this guy. I'm going to put a filler on the back of this guy. So it makes it a little bit more dynamic. So let me move this over maybe about three inches. And see, we're going to put a big filler in here. There we go. Somewhere. Big filler face is going to be about this. That's what I want. I'm gonna cover this back end with some paneling or something like that. Filler in here. There we go. This guy's gonna rotate. 24 in here. Ah, I think that needs to be like 21, 20. Here. Then let's start figuring out what these wall cabinets are. Um, I think I'll make this like a blind corner wall cabinet, collect it about itself, kind of kick it in the corner, take this over to the other end, kind of do that same thing. Maybe we want shelves here, I'm not sure. And let's just, whatever this is, cut it in half. Oops, I didn't quite do that right. Trying to kind of figure out where the middle ground of these two guys are. Looks like there, that's what I was trying to cut in half. Those should be the same now. 
Cool. And we got one and maybe a little one, maybe a little, little custom guy here. 15, let's call his class. These cabinets over, maybe we'll go to a 27 and another seven. Probably gone bigger than that. Let's go six down the line, bring it up three. This one down three. Sure. And then we want to have some back overhangs. So a couple of these guys right there, gonna get back overhang. We need front overhang for these guys right here. Throw just a little stool in there where I put it. Okay, right there. Pendant light. We're just going to go generic for this. Just testing the waters, if you will. Throw some other lighting here. And we can adjust. What else do we need? We need some backsplashes. Let's uh, actually take a little view here. Throw the sink in, start painting everything. So, I'm gonna throw in a little hood here. I'm gonna fight this position here. There go. Pretty cool. Actually raise this whole building up 12 inches. Okay, so. I think I'm going two drawer base, garbage pull out, or excuse me, spice rack. This will be garbage. And then a little dishwasher in there. I'm thinking, I think this up that. Just do some three drawer stack, four drawer stack. Go two drawer base, three drawer then. Four drawer. This is gonna be really generic design view. Just close this space up. I kinda like the look of that, I think. I'm missing a filler here. Good. B. Let me. Okay. It kind of let me. There we go. Bump. Oh, I do that way wrong. <laughs> Bumping into something else. Okay, three inches back, probably. Chris, see. Uh, let's throw a little backsplash in here, and I think that we kind of drop this down and then kick this to. And we probably got some little jiffies here. Going kind of close to oven. And let's go 48 away. This or corner. Put it on the other side of the wall. <laughs> I'm gonna get sued for that. Uh, what am I doing here? Okay. There. There we go. That's looking pretty good. And let's see if we can't style this a little bit better. This is looking terrible. And we can throw this guy up a little bit till he bumps. And then let me see if I've got kind of on my side screen, which is my library. Style palette kitchen. And I think I'll do this one. That's fine. Let's go full plan, paint some cabinets. And yeah, that's pretty ugly. But I think this back over to like white. We want, let's see, cab paint. That's what we're looking for. I've got everything. White. 
Spanish what? But uh Yeah, that looks nice. Alright, we're getting there. Getting somewhere. This library. Real quick. And uh, what are we looking at? Uh glass. I need this to go back to glass. I wanted that. Oh. Thanks. Here we go. That I think pretty good. And then actually I do need my library back. Let's look at some kitchen countertop shelf decor. Want and throw the right way. It's not. Dang it. Let's see if I can do it again. Oh, kind of. Kind of. I got it. That looks better. And then want these little guys here, even though these are perfumes, it kind of looks like something going on in there that works. Um, I don't know what else I want to throw in here. I think that's about it. Throw this little guy. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. A couple shots of this real quick. So back it up, something like that. Yeah, it'd be great if we put some art on the wall, maybe we'll fill real quick. I don't know. How much time I got? This. Okay. Here's kind of my new magic workflow. Let's see if we can. Yeah. Okay. Something like that. Let's screenshot this and let's kick it over to Priya. Let this go to work. Go on back to this part. Let's get another little still shot. Something like. Why not? See if I'm still on pace or not. I'm not sure. I think I'm a little slow. Go over to Korea again. A little second shot. Work. And let's get back to this part and let's get some elevations done real fast. Yeah, that works. Double check that. That's that. Work. Is okay. Okay. In this guy, it's what we got going on here. Uh, there, okay. Good. Okay. And let's do. Brand new layout file if you're familiar with Chief Architect. And then I just get to associate this with this kitchen. So we're going to save this sample kitchen. And get to link my default template to that example kitchen. Now, okay. And here we go. And rescale this. Let's send this at a half inch scale. Okay, that's pretty good. And then click this and close on repeat. This do do a little match line or cut line there. And then let's just send this to view. Yeah. Oh man, I only got 30 seconds left. I'm not gonna get done. Thought I was gonna get there, but let's just take a, take a look though. Oh, I never clicked a button on either of these. Oh, we're definitely failing. <laughs> let's see, I started at 20 seconds. I think I get another 20 seconds to see if these guys finish their little renderings. And then back here, we're starting to set up this, this whole view for this kitchen, right? So. 
be able to bring this down now, relink this to another view. Go take a look at this. Are these ones finished? Not yet. Shoot. Well, if I brought you this far, give me another few minutes to at least see the beauty that is these quick little renderings that I'm getting enhanced in Kriya.ai. Meantime, we are building out those elevations. We could get to that next page. And actually, we could duplicate this page, put the rest on there, because here's the automatic schedule that's being created as well. So, very cool, as well as automatic fillers going on. So, yeah, that's looking pretty good. And what did it say at the bottom here? That was looking like $28,000 worth of cabinets. That's a pretty good project. Good size. All right, let's check this out. How fantastic does that look? Rendering number one. Let's see, is there any problems? Yeah, there's a little problem here. This handle is a little too visible or whatever this is. We could kind of Photoshop fix that. I knew I was missing some fillers here. So that happened. Yeah, it's a little goofy on the on the pendants, right? If we took it back to the original, pendants look maybe a little bit better. Not sure. That looks good. And how about this one? Here's our second one. Check that out. That looks pretty good. Any problems? I like what it did to the utensil holder. Yeah, the salt and pepper shaker look a little goofy. It looks like something got messed up there. I can bring that into Photoshop and just fix it real quick. That's that's pretty impressive. It really is. Um, let's see if I've got Photoshop and just actually we just do new from custom and then paste whatever in. I thought I might have gotten that screenshot, but let's try this. Probably drag that in. So there's our original. Line this up, scale it. All right. It's pretty good. Then get back to this and download it. And if you're new to Kriya, like I am, maybe you're confused that this screenshot never downloads, but it's doing something funny where it downloads on the second time. First time it seems to copy to a clipboard, kind of interesting. So I think I actually can come to Photoshop and just hit Control V. Yeah, I can. But you know, the downside of that is it's a little harder to scale it sometimes. Especially if you're trying to hit those center marks. That, so there we go. That should be lined up right on top. And since this is flat two dimensional renderings from or AI produced stuff, that means that this should just be a one to one. So we can just kind of patch and replace things. So here's my original, and right, that's the underlying layer. And so all I'm trying to do here is fix those little salt shakers real quick, right? So there's the original. We're going to throw a little mask on it. Let's invert the mask. Come in here with our brush tool. Size it down. Set its opacity to 100 right now. Why not? And there we go. I just get to fix these two. That's all I wanted to do. Something like that. There we go. Beautiful. And that's a pretty good looking re rendering. Put the logo on it. Size it down. Kick it out to the customer. Looking pretty, pretty cool. Hey, if you stuck with me this far, I appreciate it. I was just trying to get your attention for a minute in case you need any kind of help doing kitchens. If you want some advice on systems analysis in your office, how to you know, really efficiently do things. If you're a chief architect person and, and you want some toolkits or something like that, I don't throw a bunch of sales ads or, or show force here that often, but... I'm here. Reach out to me. Thanks.